there's a new software that I use to do the denoise in my images in astrophotography and it's called Neat Image. Yes, Neat. The software has two versions, a free version and a paid version. And what I like is that with a free version, you can do it all. The main difference is that you can only save the image in JPEG file. So this is a software which will be very useful, not only for beginners that don't want to spend money in a new software, but also for experienced astrophotographers that want to have an extra tool in the pocket. This is a simple software. I place the link then at the description. This is a software I found uh, by accident and I saw they have here beautiful photos without noise. It's a computer software that removes digital noise from photographic images and also performs other image quality improvements. Neat Image is available for Windows, Mac, Linux and also has a plugin for Photoshop. So I will use as a standalone software which is what I like to use but you can also use if you use Photoshop already you can use it or edit there as a plugin. The advantage is that you can work in the standalone version, a free version it's the demo version which I installed and then if you like the software you can do more complex stuff and fine-tune the edit and buy the paid version which is cheap it's about 39 bucks I think so what I like in this software the neat image is that we have the option to get it for free and an option to pay later if you want and at the same time and this is very important to me is very quick and easy to use these are the kind of noises that uh, need image reduce luminance noise color noise bending noise salt and pepper noise electronic interference noise film grain jpeg artifacts in camera noise reduction artifacts and some other image imperfections neat image uses sophisticated math to tell noise from image details and to selectively reduce only noise while preserving the actual details. So the limitations basically are save only as JPEG and uh, with a limitation of um, the resolution which is super high. My images don't go so high in resolution and this uh, about uh, different uh, GPUs or CPUs it doesn't affect me you will see super fast super fast is instantaneously it's faster than Topaz Denoise now let's work with it so you can download it here and the download page you have the option of plugin for Photoshop or standalone which is the version I downloaded this neat image not only denoise but also do the sharpening of the image and you can control that. You will see it right now. Go here first. Tools, preferences. And then here you have performance, the performance tab. And you have here optimize. You click on optimize and it will do a test. It's analyzing my hardware, my computer, to see the better fit for it. It's analyzing everything here. The cores. You do the same. It's only once. And then you run. Optimize and it, it will analyze like it's doing now. It's testing. The best combination, GPU only. I click here, accept best combination. And now you have this bar here, this slider. You pull the slider, usually is to the right. You pull the slider until you get the green. You see? Over the green. Neat image has two modes the beginner mode and the advanced mode i'm using the advanced mode because i found it very easy and more complete but you can start with the beginner and this is as simple as this open input image you can see this is an image with full of noise here no software makes miracles with this out of focus stars you can see clearly that we have here when we see the stars with an inner circle it's because it's out of focus. Sometimes they look like uh, fish eyes. This will only fix this noise, but it has loads of noise, so it's a good image to work 
with this software. So, pull the image in, it's straightforward. And then you have here four tabs. The first tab is to open the image only. Then you click on the second tab. Okay. And you click here, auto profile, to keep it simple. And it does the auto profile. Okay. Now, with this square, we will choose the place we want as a sample. Usually, if we can do it in a place without stars, it's better. But you can do with full of stars that, uh, because I did it and worked fine. But as they, in daylight images, they recommend, for instance, an image of the horizon and some buildings and the sky, they recommend to use this square over the sky, which is more um, homogeneous. So you just choose this, very simple, okay? And then you click on the third tab, adjust and preview, and it's done already. It's done already. If you click, you see the old image? If I release the, the mouse, you have the new one. Old one, new one. Old one, you can see clearly the noise old one without doing anything these three boxes below are to help us to fix the image now from here if you want you can go to save the fourth tab and save directly but as usual we like to to do something here if you don't know how to do anything you just click here on begin and then it will place a, an automatic algorithm over it but i like to do it myself first things to change is quality mode to highest the highest quality it's the only thing we have to change here basically we play with the luminance until we like the image not too much and not too low more or less here and then we go to the noise level here noise level not too much you see too much too low we find a balance here and then remember this is super zoomed in a bad image and then you can this is the advanced uh, version you can go to sharpening click here enable and the usual problems that we have in the denoise softwares are if you over sharp the image the astro image the stars get weird here we have sharpening if i crank up the lower level look at the stars you see you see with the weird circles this happens a lot with other softwares but if we crank down the fine tune you see very nice here you have sharpening I enable it with a checkbox and then we have height, mid and low. I just crank more the height because it's larger, the mid a, a bit less and the low at the minimum, at zero. Because it's the low is to fine tune and it's what makes the stars weird. Then you, you check the stars. If you still want, for instance, if you still want to soften the edge of the star even more you crank down the sharpening because it's the sharpening feature of the, the these softwares that introduce the problems in the stars you see very nice you see old one new one old one new one let's do it with a better picture so this is the rosette which has noise over the nebula also and you will see that these details stay there, stay better. With the software, you see, no noise. The noise is gone. With this software, the neat software. And here, the original image. And now a better, horse head nebula. So open the picture. Second tab, prepare noise profile. I will choose the square here. Then third tab, adjust, click auto profile. You see the image without noise, look at this. Noisy, after, before, after. Look at the details there, all there. Before, after. Where are the artifacts? 
zero artifacts before after before after and then you can play here if you like you save already this if you want to denoise a bit more or something you come here or sharpening sharpening let me see what happened it's nice the sharpening let me crank up you can play here sharpening too much i use as a reference the the stars and you can use the the bottom here to to check that you over the stars you can see if they are over sharpened but then you zoom out and you can see nothing look how beautiful it is look at, at the pictures at the bottom for instance the pink one at the middle at the bottom huh before look at the noise at the picture after before after that's why they use this and then save <laughs> okay see you next time thank you take care take care